On the screen, we see the eye that we created in another movie. What we're going to do in this movie is finish it off. We're going to add all the tones around it, the eyelid, the eyelashes, and the eyebrows. So what we're going to do right now is go over here, and uh, I'm going to create on top of all the layers, I'm going to create a group. I'm going to call it the eye. And I'm going to take all those layers that make up the eye and put them into that group. And I'm going to tell it to select the group. So I got the group there, and I'm going to just move the whole eye down a little bit like this. So we have room for the eyebrow and all the other parts that we need. So now I'm going to do one thing to this. I'm going to take the white of the eye. And I'm going to soften it a little bit because it's a very hard edge right now. So I'm just going to go in there and give it a little Gaussian blur. Just soften it up just a little bit. Like about maybe a, a one, just a, you know, we could go a little more. Let's go with a three. That's a nice soft edge right there. That looks good. Click OK. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a path right above the eye here. Small area right here like this. And this is going to be the eyelid area. Okay, this is the eyelid. And I'm just going to kind of get this big area just surrounded like that. So now. I'm going to do all the tonality right onto the flesh layer. I could possibly do it in a couple of different layers, but I'm just going to do it right on one layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that background, which is where the tone is. Now, normally, you would want to put this into a layer. In fact, let's do that. Let's put it into a layer. Okay? And we'll call that layer the skin. Now, we're not starting from scratch here because we're starting with the file that just had the eye. So what we're going to do is work with that existing file. If we were starting from scratch, everything would have been put into an individual layer. But right here, that's what we did. We put the skin into its own layer. So now, I'm going to go in there and take that path and turn it into a selection. And what I'm going to do is inverse that selection. So everything else is selected. So in the layer of the skin right here, I'm going to take my burn tool which right now is set to mid-tones. I'm going to bring down the sides a little bit. I'm just going to kind of darken right into this area, right in here. So I kind of see where it is, see where that tone is, right in there, like that. So I'm just very lightly just passing my cursor over this area just to create that tone. Then I'm going to make it smaller and darken this little area right above the eye itself. Now, I'm doing it in small passes at a time. I'm just going in and going over and over getting all these nice little dark tones right in there into this area. I get even darker over here and come back around and start to get a little darker into this area. Now, I'm going to make it larger. And kind of give this a little hit right there. I'm going to switch over to highlights, which is going to give me kind of a black tone to this. So I'm going to just going to darken through there and darken right in here. And then I'm going to hide those marching ants for a second. And then with a much smaller brush, I'm going to really darken this little area right up in here. Let's go right through there and darken right in there. Then I get this sense of eyelid right above the eye. Okay, so now I can inverse that selection back. So I have this area here, at which time I'm now going to switch back to my midtones and get a much larger brush and just kind of give this a little touch right there and a little touch right in here. Okay. Now I can deselect that. So now we're starting to get our eyelid up on top, right? Which I'm going to go in there and I have this selected. So I'm just going to give that a little Gaussian blur and just soften that whole little area, but not so much, just a little bit, about 2.1. That's good. Click OK. Now with the burn tool. And keep in mind, I'm doing all this just by looking at the eye and, and such. It really helps to have some kind of a point of reference. So you could look in the mirror or look at a person's photograph or whatever, or just have a person sitting there modeling for you and look at the way the light is hitting the different features so you can start to go and create the effect more realistically. So I'm going to go in here and reduce the size of my brush, and I'm just going to start adding a little dark tones along the bottom here, just right in there like that. And these little dark tones, and you see it's a little uneven because I'm working with a low opacity for my brush. Now I'm going to go in here and make my brush bigger, and I'm going to reduce this even more. I'm going to bring this down to about 9, because I want to very lightly, slowly start to build up the tones around these areas. See, so I'm just going to slowly start to build up my tones right along here, which is the bottom part of the eye, just like that. Now, I can go in there and get a much smaller brush and start to create other little details right in there, small little touches, just tiny little touches, a little one here, just a little line, 
And again, it helps to see or realize so you can start getting a feel of what kind of things are going on in there. So I'm just adding extra little touches, just little creases in the skin, little areas where I'm just going to darken it just a little here and there. So we're starting to get there. Now, a much larger brush and increase that resolution to about a 20% again. I'm going to switch to my highlights. And I'm just going to throw a big dark tone right across this whole top portion, right through there like that, right there, and along this bottom part, and along the side. And I'm going to get a smaller brush and kind of just start to darken this little edge a little bit more. There. So we start to get this little sense of what the eye looks like. And there's usually a little darkening in this little area in, right in there. So now we start to add the hair. So I'm going to switch to a black. And I'm going to get my paintbrush. And I'm going to get a hard edge brush. And bring it all the way down to one. So I'm going to go to my brushes. And I'm going to make sure that the spacing is down to 1%. So it's a solid line. And I'm going to add a transfer mode. So that I can have a flow jitter set the pen pressure. Or I might just do it as an opacity set the pen pressure. Now keep in mind that a mouse doesn't have pressure sensitivity. This is for a tablet. But what's happening here is as I loosen up on the pressure, the brush is going to start to disappear. So now that I have that, I'm going to create a layer above the whole thing, above the eyes and so on. I'm going to create a layer up here, which I'll call the lashes. And I'm going to start to draw my lashes in. Just these little shapes that are going to come up like this. And I'm going to draw quite a few of them. I'm going to draw a couple of little ones down here. And usually the bottom ones kind of have this tendency to make little triangles on them. And don't worry about those ones that overlapped on themselves. We'll get rid of those in a second. So I'm just creating a couple on the bottom. And then we're going to go in here and start creating these other ones. So I'm going to just draw quite a few up here of these thinner ones. Now I'm going to make the brush a little bigger. Go to a two. And we start getting thicker eyelashes. So I'm just going to start to draw a few, and I'm going to start getting thicker as I go into this area here, and I'm going to start drawing more. I'm just drawing a whole bunch of them right up into this area. And I'm going to go even thicker now with a three and start to finish them off. So now I'm going to start to really thicken that area up. I'm creating all these little eyelashes right there, and uh, we're getting all these little hairs. And the ones in front here are just kind of twirling around, and a couple more. And a couple of little ones towards the front here. And let's fill these up. So there we have all the eyelashes. Now, once we've created this, now we can see that we need to darken this area a little more. So I'm going to go to my skin and get a smaller burn tool and just start to darken this area a little bit more. Just in there where the eyelashes are coming out of. I'm going to just darken that area even more. Just through there like that. Now, you might want to do that to the white of the eye as well. So what I'll do is I'll go down here to the white and just add a little more shadow right under there, like that. Those little areas right in there. So there, we got that. So now let's just, on our eyelashes, let's get rid of those funny little things that popped up there. Bring the opacity up, and we can get rid of those little hickeys where it just jumped up on us. So now, back to our paintbrush. We've got a nice thick size, so what I'm going to do is create the eyebrows. So right on top of this, we'll call the eyebrows. And we start to draw our eyebrows. And we get a feeling of where they're going to be. So we're going to create the first batch right through here, like so. And they're going to end right about here. So they start getting a little smaller. They kind of follow the angles of the eye. So we're going to go in there and just start to create all these nice little eyelashes coming out. These are the basic ones. And you notice that as I loosen up at the end, they start to get a little lighter. Because that's the pressure sensitivity at work. So now once I've got the basic strokes in there, I'm going to go in there and start to thicken them up and have the other hairs coming in from the side and they just kind of fill up that whole area just like that and we start to have our eyebrows and you want to just fill up those areas let's undo those last two that's the beauty of history we can go in there and say let's not do those last few there we go in fact let's get rid of that one too all right so now let's go and redo those get them right and we just go in there and just fill that whole area up and there's our eyebrow. So now once we have the eyebrow in place, we can now finish up all those tones. I'm going to go back to my burn tool, get a nice big size, and I'm going to start to darken underneath the eyebrow, like that. I add a little dark tones right in here and right in there. And there you can see that we have this finished eye.